he was very poor. He had holes in his pockets, holes in his shoes. There were even holes in his knapsack. That's like a backpack on a stick. That made things really hard, didn't it, Hans? Sure did. I lose everything. Everything falls out of this knapsack. I have nothing to hold on to. Well, Hans had worked for the queen for many years. And at last, he was retiring, and it was time for the queen to pay him for his services. So the queen came forward, and she was sad. The country was bankrupt, and she had no money to give Hans. Tell him. I have no money to give you. Oh, it's my retirement, but it has been my great honor to serve the country, dear queen. He was so kind. Most people would be angry in a situation like that, but he was so wonderful and kind and loving that the queen was moved, and she dug deep into her pockets, and she found the only money she had, a krona. That's a Danish coin. It's worth about 15 cents, and she gave it to Hans. I shall keep this as a token of my service to you. There's not much I can buy with it. <laughs> <laughs> and Hans thanked the queen. Gracious queen. And bid her goodbye. Keep your costume on, because you'll be everybody. Everybody, even after the story's over, keep your costume on, because we're going to do it a couple of times. All right. Well, Hans put the corona in his knapsack, hoping that it wouldn't fall out. Probably a silly thing to do, but there's nowhere else to put it. It's in my knapsack. Then he went walking, walked, and walked, and walked, and walked, and after a while. A little girl, an adorable little girl in a white shawl. She held out her hands and she said, Please, what a poor. Oh, what an adorable little girl. Oh, how can I not give her my one and only corona? He gave her the only it's money. It's still there. The world. Oh, so happy. No, Here, no. you can get a little something with it, a little oh, grain or something. And when he did that, something magical happened. A beautiful fairy princess appeared. <laughs> she made her wand, danced in a circle around Hans. And she created a magic spell. From now on, anything that went into his knapsack had to stay there until he took it out. No holes! <laughs> Good. And then the fairy princess took the little girl away and bought her a piece of pizza. <laughs> Well, Hans would have rather had something else from the fairy. I spoke too soon. But that's the only thing I could think of that I wanted. And he walked and walked, and it was getting later and later. His feet were tired. He was cold. After a while, he came to an inn. He knocked on the door, and the innkeeper answered the door. <laughs> oh, innkeeper! I don't have any money, but I've serviced the whole Denmark, and I'm so tired and cold. Do you have anywhere that I can sleep? And the innkeeper told him, I have one empty room, but it's haunted. I have one empty room, but it's haunted. Well, I'm brave, and I'm so tired, I don't think any ghost could keep me up. <laughs> Show me the room, please. The innkeeper took him to the bed and left him alone in the haunted room. Good night. Hans was so tired, he put down his knapsack, and he went right to sleep. But as he was sleeping, an evil little troll came tiptoeing out of the fireplace. Oh, that's the troll very well. <laughs> the troll went over to Hans and jumped up and down three times and said, You can't have the gold! You can't have the gold! Hans tried to grab the troll, but the troll went running right back into the wall and disappeared. thought to himself, oh, that, that had to be a dream. I'm just delirious from lack of sleep. Back to sleep I go. And fell right to sleep again. And as soon as he did, the evil troll came tiptoeing out of the fireplace. <laughs> the troll went over to Hans, jumped up and down three times, <laughs> and said, you can't have the gold. You can't have the gold. Hans tried to grab the troll, but the troll disappeared too fast for him again. Ow! I know that was real. I touched something. I know. I'm going to pretend to go to sleep. Got my knapsack for a pillow. <laughs> the troll didn't know Hans was pretending. 
So the troll went tiptoeing through the fire. Oh, that nasty little troll. The troll got over to the bed and jumped up and down three times and said, you can't have the gold. You can't have the gold. This time he grabbed him and he stuck the troll in the knapsack and anything that went in the knapsack had to stay there. And then he threw the, threw the troll out the window and into the sea. Hans called to the landlord. Landlord! I got rid of your gold! Where's that gold? And they went looking around and looked for the I found it in the fireplace! Hans gave some of the gold to the landlord. Some for you, some for me. And he gave some of the gold to the poor little girl. Okay. And some gold to the fairy. And he married the queen. Here's your hat, Hans. with math today. You know, it takes about 10 minutes to tell that story. But we're going to have some fun with math. Um, who's got a stopwatch or a second hand on their watch or um, an app on their cell phone that's a stopwatch or anything <coughs> like that with us? Who's got that? Have you got it? 